this one's filming good. this one for the heck of it. And we are in the second hive. That one weighs about probably 50 to 60 pounds at this point. It's held to pick off, especially when the bees have sealed it in with their sticky, sticky propolis here. Yeah. Interestingly enough, it looks like the bees aren't actually building down, although they've definitely cemented that one in right there. They are building up. Um, That's not unusual, but here, this, yeah. this one was pretty much empty last time, and yeah. and they're definitely building on here. I right. mean, they're not on this side, but they are on that side. But for the record, you know, basically they weren't building across here. Don't... What, 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 what happened? It came up under my finger, and oh. it's like buzzing inside of my hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, that could be scary. Like, ah! <laughs> but as you can see, basically the bees here are... Um, they're building here in this central area and building up, which is not unusual, but they don't like building to the sides, they, particularly this, these bees. Um, Neil Gaiman once told me you want to build two hives because if you have one hive, you think that every hive is identical, which they are not. This is our hive. Our bees are extremely docile. We have heard from other people that basically, if you just open the lid, they come swarming out at you. Um, that's very unusual, and I think that person wants from a foreign land where they haven't bred for domesticity as much, but our bees just seem to be very easy going, for which we are Lots grateful honey on bees. Side where they've built. Yep. And building honey, some brood still in here. Yeah. But it looks like they're in a much better position. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the critical mass is being reached. As I've said, you know, before, the, the central problem that every beehive uh, looks for is we're trying to achieve a critical mass of population. We need about 80,000 bees um, near the end to gather enough honey to keep this brood alive through the winter. And the way the bees are going to survive it is, one, they need the population because they are going to cluster together for warmth. And they are going to eat the honey on the inside, which explains why they're and building in the middle. Side, it looks like some honey's being filled in now. Okay. Because the queen is probably uh, more up in the top. Yeah, but you can see again. You can see the honey right there, and you know, it's. I kind of want to eat some of the honey. <laughs> I'm curious to see what our honey, our bees are doing. Huh. I'm sweating. That's what I'm doing. Well, yes, as you should. It is like 93 degrees out here. It's 93 degrees, and it is hot as blazes. Um, that's one of the reasons.